Hi, I'm Siddharth. Welcome to the first episode of Yoda Bites. What I'm about to share with you today will probably reveal a big gap that you had in the way you evaluated data center service providers. What I have here are three varieties of apples. We have the Washington apple, the New Zealand apple, and my personal favorite, the Kashmir apple. If you're out to buy Kashmir apples and if somebody hands out a sealed bag to you, would you just take their word for it? Probably not. You would want to open the bag, verify the apples, and then close the purchase, right? Similarly, when it comes to evaluating data centers, are you just taking the service provider's word for it? Do you ask them to present their tier 3 or tier 4 certificate? Do you know which organization issues these tier certifications to data center service providers? Do you know there are only three data centers in India that are tier 4 certified? Let me unravel this for you. Tier certifications are awarded by only one organization in the world, the Uptime Institute. They headquartered out of Seattle in the USA. No other organization is allowed to issue tier certifications on their behalf and if somebody tells you otherwise, they are misleading you. If a data center claims to be tier 3 or tier 4 certified, please ask for their certificate. This is what it would look like. This is the certificate that Uptime Institute awarded to Yota NM1, the world's second largest tier 4 data center. And when we talk about tier 4 certified data centers, there are only three of them across all of India. My data center in Vijayawada, GPX in Mumbai, and Yota NM1 in Navi Mumbai. I'm sure you're surprised to not find some of the most popular data centers in India in this list. Well, don't take my word for it. Uptime Institute has published this list on their website and it is available for everybody to go and have a look. Uptime Institute also regularly updates this as and when they issue new tier certifications to these service providers. Follow the URL published in the comments or in the description of this video and go and have a look yourself. Thank you so much for watching. However, before I go, I have a small request to make. If you like this video and if you would like to know more about data centers and how to pick the right one for your business, do leave a comment and let us know. We'll try and address your queries in this video series. Take care and stay safe.